In this video, we're going to talk about why you can get pretty much any tech job you want without experience, as long as you're competent at the job you want. Now I'm going to tell you that I started my career, I left my internal medicine career, and I took my first job as a senior network engineer. Within three months, I was a lead architect at the world's largest internet service provider, and within two years, I was a principal solutions architect. And I've also trained countless others who've taken their first jobs as senior engineers, senior architects, solutions architects, cloud architects, and enterprise architects. And anyone with the right skills, right capabilities, can get any job they want. But let's talk about why that actually occurs. What shifted in the world of technology careers that made this happen? Why do degrees become less and less relevant? Why is it that employers are willing to hire without experience on the basis of competency? Well, the key here is it is near impossible to hire qualified people for technology positions. It's easy for me to find someone with five or six certifications, but in order to find someone that understands how to solve real world problems and truly understands technology, its inner relationships to each other, how the underlying technology works and how you can use it to solve problems, that's a skill set that is almost impossible to find. And because employers have been starving for it, Companies like Google and Microsoft, for example, dropped degree requirements, and many companies have also dropped experience requirements. And uh, even if it says experience required on the, on the job description, which is usually written by HR, not the hiring manager, in many cases, the hiring managers are willing to hire without experience. So what is it employers are looking to do? So if you look at the data from Robert Half, uh, and they published uh, a hiring trends uh, about 2023. And Robert Half, if you're unfamiliar, is one of the, the nation's largest tech recruiting firms. So they have found that 80% uh, of organizations are more concerned with competency-based hiring and problem solving and the ability to solve architectural challenges than they are about past work experience. So that's 80% of companies, which is probably why many of the reasons I've trained people that are working at Apple and Amazon and Cisco and Google and IBM and Microsoft, Accenture, Deloitte, KPMG, Capgem, and I price what else, Cooper's an incredible number of roles, and in many cases, it was their first tech job. Now, more data to prove this point uh, was actually on the LinkedIn Global Talent Trends uh, 2023 survey, and that found that 85% of hiring managers favor candidates who demonstrate strong problem-solving skills, and architecture is all about problem-solving, and strong technical knowledge over years of experience. Because it doesn't matter how many years you've been at something, it matters how good you are. Now, we can pull some cybersecurity statistics, and there's tons of jobs in cybersecurity. Uh, I think the last data was uh, that there's about 5.5 million global shortage, shortages of workers in cybersecurity roles. But here you can see when it comes to an ISC uh, squared cybersecurity workforce study, they found that 78% of cybersecurity roles prioritize competency, especially in things like risk management, threat detection, more than past job roles or past titles. Now, Forrester did some research too, uh, fairly recently, 2022, and they found that 70% of organizations report the ability of someone to solve real world problems, that having real world competency is val more valuable than a lengthy work history. So, it's showing that you've got the real world skills. Now, when I train architects, for example, they create uh, architectural blueprints. They know how to respond and they do respond to RFIs, RFPs, RFQs. They create architectural artifacts. So they've got a real architectural portfolio and the ability to talk about it and things, but uh, that's real world competency showing you're solving architectural things as opposed to building a WordPress website showing you're doing sysadmin things or cloud engineering things or cloud admin things, not architecture. So, you know, when we started looking at uh, resumes, now I've seen resumes that are so beautiful in my entire life. 
But when we're hiring enterprise architects, we're much more concerned. And uh, another uh, hacker rank developer skills report uh, recently published that 60% of companies are more interested in assessing the architect's skills of the ability to design and solve a problem rather than just look at their resumes because years of experience are meaningless. It's capability and competencies. Now, Another thing companies are looking for a lot more, which dropped a lot of the years of experience, we're in a rapidly changing world right now. And organizations have prioritized the ability of people that can learn quickly, that can adapt and change fairly quickly. So uh, Deloitte did a tech study trend in 2022, and they found 77% of IET companies prioritize new hires and people that have the ability to change and adapt quickly over historical job titles. Now, this is a one way that's even hard to believe because I don't usually use uh, certifications with competency, but 65% of IT leaders value certain certifications more than years of experience on the job, and that's according to a Global Knowledge IT Skills and Salary Report in 2022. So the point is, it's not experience that matters. It's how good you actually are. So these are what I look for when I hire a cloud architect, when I interview anyone. And I don't care whether someone's gotten 10 years of experience or someone's got two weeks. I care how good the person is. Can they do the job? Will they add value to my team? And that's why I've trained countless people over, over the years, and they've never had a start at help desk unless they wanted to. They've never had a start in a cloud admin or a sysadmin role unless they wanted to. They started in the role you desire because what you need is the skills for the role you desire, excellence in the role you desire, and the ability to step in and do a great job on day one in the job you desire. It's not the employer's responsibility to train you, it's your responsibility to be there and be great on the job. And that's what it takes to get hired when you have no experience. You've gotta have the right capabilities, you've gotta have the right attitude, the right energy, enthusiasm, passion, and the ability to demonstrate you're willing to go above and beyond and you're willing to work in a team and you're doing willing to deal what it takes legally, ethically, and morally, obviously, to help make that place a better environment. So don't worry about your lack of experience. Get competent. Get the best uh, career development training that you possibly can. Study your skills. Brush up on your skills. Master that interview so when you finally get an interview, you're going to crush that interview and go out there and get yourself hired. No hard and fast rules. If you're looking to get a become a cloud architect or a solutions architect or a security architect or an AI architect or an enterprise architect, architect, we've got not only programs but free webinars that we can run. We'll talk about the architect role, what we do, the skills that you need in these roles, and even uh, answer any questions you have about uh, cloud architect careers, enterprise architect careers, security architecture careers. It's live and free on Zoom, so uh, you can find uh, these free webinars in the description of this video. If you go through the description of this video, you will also find charts and guides to help you pass the cloud architect interview and list the skills you need to become a cloud architect, enterprise architect, security architect, all free in the description of this video. So go check them out. Go sign up and get these all resources emailed to you. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos to help you in your cloud architect career, security architect career, AI architect career, or enterprise architect career. This is Mike Gibbs signing off for now, and I look forward to seeing you in another video. Take care.